Now for the independent group, Deputy Catherine Connolly, please. And Corla. Agus a hishi banan mo kesh the new le shantur skal sha tasula kum gwinche lecha agat agus dar tejel chorus kine yaich eg Israel igwina ne Palestinak agus mo kesh go sunrak a gwinche lecha agat a nenti in tu le ne konkluji Trump kochuka ato agan agus go harid go will chorus kine yaichcha igest eg Israel igwina ne Palestinak. August Cain Bartus at all August Magdalene Multi. I think Tishuk, it's worth focusing on this report Israel's Apartheid Against Palestinians, published last week. It is a damning indictment of what Israel is doing in relation to the Palestinian people, whether they're living in Israel, in the occupied territories, in the Gaza Strip, or in East Jerusalem. It's a 278-page report. It has seven chapters, an executive summary, and conclusions and recommendations. And I can tell you I have read almost every single word. So when I speak today, I speak from knowledge of having read the report. The evidence and the research set out there is based on over four years of research. It is gathered together and it builds on the work of Beth Salem and the previous reports from Human Rights Watch at Threshold Crossed. The evidence and the research is clearly set out. In my opinion, it's a balanced, moderate report. And it finds that Israel's system of institutionalized segregation and discrimination against Palestinians as a racial group in all areas under its control amounts to a system of apartheid and a serious violation of Israel's human rights obligations. Now my questions to you today is, perhaps you haven't had the time to read it, because I'm sure it's not possible with your busy schedule, because it took me absolutely hours. But I'm sure the conclusions and the recommendations have been drawn to your attention. So do you agree with the conclusions that an apartheid system is in operation? Will you raise it at EU and UN level? Do you agree that the International Criminal Court should consider the crime of apartheid in its current investigation in relation to the occupied territories and Israel and what they have done? Will you commit to ceasing the purchase or the acquisition of Defence Forces equipment from Israel as called for in this report? And will you use our seat on the UN Security Council to, first of all, highlight the recommendations of the report and then to ensure that they take place, including imposing targeted sanctions such as acid freezes against Israeli officials most implicated in the crime of apartheid and imp impose a comprehensive arms embargo on Israel. I'll finish by saying I do not want to hear about anti-Semitic and how we have to be careful. We'll take that as a given. I'm over time and I'll stop at that. But if you could use your three minutes uh, appropriately and not in relation to anti-apartheid. Thank you very anti much. Anti-Semitism. I do spare a ball and move it squad and talk to Dalla and Sutton. Kesht Prynach and talk to Kesht Ardu. Neil and Torres got later gum. Ach, Tosagum, Fin, an Idriel Shenogs and the Dakrochia Tigna Palestina, Agusko Hoyde, or a talk on the policy on Realtus Town Fielahirt. I acknowledge fully that there are very, very serious issues in terms of how Israel treats Palestinians and how Israel is dealing uh, with the Palestinian question and, the, in my view, the right of the Palestinians to their homeland, um, and to their own state. Um, it is depressing uh, that this litany of measures continues on a yearly basis. Um, I think it's nearly... I said it was a 209 whenever, whenever I visited Gaza um, after one conflict, terrible conflict, um, not a whole lot has changed in terms of segregation, in terms of in the occupied territories, the routes that Palestinians have to take as opposed to others. And what's happening in East Jerusalem isn't satisfactory by any yardstick. Uh, it's injustice after injustice. There's a better way of doing this. We've appealed to the Israeli government to really work towards a two-state solution here. Um, we believe, and, and, our, and the Minister for Foreign Affairs has been 
uh, to Israel. Uh, he was there on the first, between the 1st and the 5th of November. He said, order continued support for the two-state solution. We've raised it at the UN Security Council. Indeed, the Secretary General last year thanked me for Ireland's constructive contribution to this issue at the Security Council and for raising it on a consistent basis. Um, and we, we want to get a settlement, a resolution of these issues. Um, the settlements are unacceptable, the demolitions are unacceptable, uh, and the way people are treated. In addition to that, civil society needs to be respected and supported. And we in Ireland have supported various civil society organizations who raise human rights um, and um, believe that Israel should facilitate um, their unfettered um, access and to, to people and also their, that they should be allowed uninhibited, in an uninhibited, uninhibited way to continue their work on human rights um, w w within um, Palestine um, itself. Is, is that report the Amnesty International report? Yeah. Uh, that's been examined by the Department of Foreign Affairs now. Uh, I haven't read it yet, but I will um, get, get through it um, as quickly as I can. Um, and the, from, from our perspective, you know, through the European Union, uh, we have a very clear policy position in relation to this. Um, and we believe that Israeli policy is counterproductive to the emergence of moderate opinion within Palestine, to the triumph of moderate opinion within both the West Bank and Gaza. Um, and in many ways, Israeli policy has been counterproductive and has allowed extremists uh, get the upper hand, in my view. Um, and um, now we've pointed this out time and time again. Um, and the, the, the Israel do not take too kindly sometimes to Ireland's contributions you, on this or to Ireland's uh, position on this. But we will continue to do to keep, make, make our views known. I appreciate, Taoiseach, that your department is looking at it, and it was only published last week. But the conclusion, there's no escaping. Nilain Elu on the conclusion. Israel is operating an apartheid system in relation to the Palestinians. My question to you is, do you accept that conclusion amongst other conclusions? And in relation to the very practical recommendations, what, what steps are you going to take? You said very little has changed. I'm afraid quite a lot has changed. The apartheid regime has become entrenched. It is no longer just statements from various uh, politicians. It has become entrenched in legislation, policy and practice. And the suffering has intensified of the Palestinian people. And that report was condemned by various spokespersons in, in Israel, including the foreign minister, before it was even published. A former respected uh, deputy has told us Amnesty International used to be a globally respected international defender. Today, it distorts history propagates the big lie that Israel is an apartheid state and so on. That's a previous uh, respected TD from Fine Gael setting out his response to this report. It does us no favours to equate questioning and criticism of Israeli policy with anti-Semitism. It does not serve the Jewish people, it doesn't serve democracy, and it's extremely dangerous. So we need to respond to this report in a practical Thank manner you, as a proud, independent, neutral state with a voice that's still respected in the world. First of all, I, I would agree that one can oppose an Israeli government policy and should not be labelled anti-Semitic for, 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 for so doing. Um, and I think it's important that uh, Ireland has played, um, I think, given our strength and the fact that we're a small country nonetheless, our, our voice on this issue, I, I think has been seen to be an objective, honourable voice, not by all, uh, but generally speaking, uh, our interest is genuine. Uh, we have been one of the strong supporters of UNRWA, uh, particularly during the difficult years when President Trump took away American funding from UNRWA. Uh, Ireland has been a very strong supporter of education, uh, in particular um, in, in, in the West Bank and in Gaza through the UNRWA organization. We fund civil society organizations and we have continued to fund civil society organizations and human rights organizations uh, that Israel um, have labeled um, you know, terrorists or whatever like that, which is, we do not accept that, that labeling. Uh, and we're pushing our European colleagues to, to continue to support uh, these organizations. Our best role, I think, to be f uh, right now is to, I, I'm not using that, the, the, the apartheid term, I'm not going to use that, because uh, I'm not sure that is going to add anything right now. Um, but I just, we're, we're, I'm on the pragmatic, I know what works, I think, sorry, when I say work, we have to help people and the children to an education, 
And that's what it, I think UNRWA is something we should at European level and with our American partners seek to actually expand its support for the vast majority of people. And then... It, but sorry, I, I respect all up, parties. Please. We are entitled to have our own opinion as well. We're entitled to read reports, analyse them and form our own opinions. I mean, the great novel by Colin McCann, A Paragon, mm -hmm. go and read it. Uh, I've read it. That, in a most far more impactful way, I think, illustrates the reality of life uh, between okay, we're uh, involving way over two time people now, please. on different sides. Well, actually, go and read it, yeah, and I'll address my case. Please. I'll address my case. Yeah. Thank I'll you very much.